This is your divine appointment. It's always good to be with you. Um, God always speaks to me about some things to share. Um, from the last time I was on, I was um, sharing a story and I got some interesting comments uh, from you all. And I know that people out there are just uh, wondering uh, maybe a little more detail about the experience that I uh, shared about with my husband. And my husband's here today. Smile pretty. <laughs> This is Douglas, Doug. How you doing? And he's going to share a little bit more detail about his story about uh, that angelic experience that he had. We've had many experiences, haven't yes, we? we have. A lot of them. Yes. And over the years, we could just go on and on. And um, we probably will from time to time. I have shared in the past, and I'm just going to recap some things because he, when we were talking, we listened to my video after it was up on Real Cool. By the way, I just want to thank all those who are watching me by YouTube. I want to thank all those that are on um, Real Cool watching me. And I thank you for those that are watching me on Facebook. And um, I just give God all the glory. My only purpose is to bring people closer to the Lord. Because we are living in very, you know, we're living in the day now in Revelation 6 where the Word of God tells us where people are now speaking evil. Uh, they're saying evil is good and good is evil. And we're living there now. It's just all around us. In fact, things are happening so quickly, it's almost unbelievable how fast things are happening. I'm going to put my camera down just a little bit to make sure our full pictures are in there. So um, I just really wanted to recap some things. I remember years ago at a, at a church gathering, um, I remember preaching about the latter great days of the Lord that are coming ahead in a word of um, prophetic word from the Lord. And during that time when I was sharing that word, I even pondered upon it afterwards. And I thought, Lord, um, it always amazes me how he uses me. And you just pour out his spirit as we are in his presence. He just pours out his spirit upon us, those of us that ask for more of him, those of us that spend time with him. Those of us that uh, yearn for more of him in our life, he will use us. And I can remember that day, the great and terrible day the Lord, I was prophesying to that church. And uh, you know what? We're right about there right now. I mean, Jesus could come at any time. Isn't that right? Amen. I mean, Amen. we're hearing about it all the time. And But I want to get right into what I was sharing, but I did want to thank you all. I want to thank my subscribers before I finish. Sometimes I get a little bit uh, caught up with time and I forget. Thank you for my new subscribers. I really thank. I'm thankful that you're watching my program. You know, God has ordained just special people to watch my program, just like He does in our everyday life. Ordains certain people to be in our life so that we can share the gospel with them and share the good news of Jesus, and impart whatever we have in our lives into their lives. So, um, I just want to share um, about a little bit of, that we shared the last time we were together. I mentioned the fact that um, my husband, just, I just mentioned it a little bit, just a little portion of it, that my husband had fallen out of a window at his workplace and he was carrying a very heavy object. And uh, the heavy object happened to be a very expensive, very high quality Kohler um, commode. Yeah. Yeah. It was a commode and it was red, bright red, it had gold fixtures, so it was worth a lot, a lot of money. Sure. Of course, it'd special be worth order. a very special order. And he was uh, the manager of this company, and he was working on the showroom. So therefore, the object that I was talking about was this commode. And, yeah. and what were you doing? I want him to share some of the details, and then I want him to share about what exactly happened. So what were you doing in your window and when all this started, you know, before the angelic experience that you had? Well, I always, if it was in display, I've always been in retail, hardware store, and uh, this particular, I was managing a wholesale plumbing company, and uh, they had this uh, old furniture store that they remodeled into a uh, plumbing supply company, but they had a, a, an extra, oh, a building, I guess you'd call it, with a big plate glass window in it. And when I started working there, it was just used for storage and just had boxes stacked up in the window and all that. So you just cleaned the whole so thing up? So I cleaned and, it yeah. all out and we had this red bathtub that really attracted a lot of attention every time somebody saw it. 
So I put that six foot red bathtub in the corner of the window. It had a 10 foot by 12 foot window, plate glass, and it was about three foot off the sidewalk. And it was right on Main Street. In fact, people used it after that. They used it uh, for directions. You go by that place with the red bathtub and then turn right, or you go past the place with the red bathtub and you go from three blocks and turn left. So it became a real focal point. Well, I was cleaning and decorating and I was gonna put this new, we just ordered this red toilet to commode. go to, to, to my own <laughs> toilet. And uh, I, I put a, lab, a red laboratory, a pedestal lab. You we know, ladies a, like to use that yeah, term red better than toilet. Lab, <laughs> and with a mirror. And I was setting the commode or toilet <laughs> in the side. I was almost finished with my project. And I was putting the tank. I So I got up in the window and I was going to set the tank on top of the base. How heavy was that? Oh, very heavy. I mean, it was. That's it was why all... they come in two pieces. They're both. They're too heavy to handle for one. So and what? What started transpiring at that? What happened? What happened? Well, I was turning to put the tank on, and I didn't have my footing right. So I turned some more, and I lost my balance. And for, for some reason, it seemed like a, a long time. I fell backwards. So in other words, it was like slow motion. Sl yeah, like, like it took the whole episode, probably only took uh, four seconds, but it, when I recall it, it looked like it took an hour. And I was falling backwards and I hit that glass and never thought about it. And all of a sudden I'm outdoors looking up and I see the sky. So you were already outside the out, window. Outside you had fallen out. Yeah. And my heels never left the showroom. I just rocked out of my heels and I went back and I saw and I thought to my, and I got this tank in my hand because I was <laughs> you never break anything that you're trying to sell. And all I remember is seeing daylight and next thing I saw glass all over the place just like explosion and I'm going back and I kind of know that the ground is only three feet away for some reason I didn't panic I just kept going back and all of a sudden when I'm parallel to the showroom I felt two huge hands okay stop right there you, you felt two... I felt on my back. Okay, because I want you all to hear this, because some of you don't understand that there are really angels oh, watching over us. made my hands look like little kids' hands. I mean, they were so big that I felt the, from the spine all the way around my shoulders. Wow. And slowly, he just pushed me back up, and back into the window, Wow. and I ended up on my knees... Oh Still God. holding the toilet tank, <laughs> and I really, my mind Crazy. didn't really compass yeah. in everything that just happened. And all of a sudden, I realized I had glass particles, so it's plate glass. Wow! When it, it doesn't crack; it explodes. Oh my gosh! And pieces like the size of diamonds mm. all over in my hair, on my clothes, mm. and I look back, and the glass was spread over at least a 10 foot, 12 foot area on the driveway, just glass everywhere. But now you were inside the showroom. I was inside on my knees, still holding the toilet tank. And you didn't, what did you, what were you thinking at that moment? I'm thinking, God loves me. <laughs> That's all I can say. God loves me because th th there are angels on patrol all the time. Thank heavens, I've I've had many encounters with angels. Now, what happened? In. What happened to the people in the in the in the workplace? Did you share that with them? Well, I can walk around the corner, and the customer was pulling in at the same time, and he kind of says, "What what happened?" And the guys come running out, and uh, I says, "I just fell through the plate glass window," and he looked at me. He says, 
you hurt? And I says, no. He says, you aren't even dirty. I says, well, I never hit the ground. I says, God protected me and God saved me because if I'd have hit the ground after three foot up and I was, I'd have hit head first, it would have been very tragic. Yes. But I shared, everybody just stood there with their mouth open. They, they ran around and looked at the window, and there wasn't a piece of glass bigger than a quarter. And they said, my God, I never saw that before in my life. Mm. And then they all started asking questions. Well, how did how this happen? I says, all I know is I just lost my balance. I fell through the glass. And angelic beings is all I can tell you. Just saved me and put me back wow, in the showroom. Praise so. God. So that's the main. I wanted you to hear that I've because. I've many times about that. Yeah, yeah. So I wanted to, you to hear that because, you know, people don't, you don't realize that angels are watching over us wherever we go. And as we're living in these latter days, and my program is all about drawing us closer to the Lord. And I hope that this inspires you and encourages you and fills you with faith. Um, and realizing just how this is real. This is the reality of God when you walk with Him and you talk with Him and you live and dwell and have your being in Him. And even those that don't, that He knows that they are going to be ears of salvation. He is already working because He knows they're going to come into the kingdom. He knows ahead of time who's coming and who's not. So those that are, are God is preparing, He's working on their behalf as well. Some might say something really strange happened and share some an extremely unusual encounter like this, and they might not have a close walk with the Lord. But you know something? It's a faith situation. God wants them to walk in faith. God wants them to have the reality to realize that that was a miracle that just took place. Amen. God must love me. He must care, just like what you shared. He must really care. He must really love me. And the part that you saw all the glass... Because plate glass, if you all know anything about plate glass, it doesn't break in big old chunks, no, it, right? It, it breaks and explodes into millions of pieces. And as he was falling back, he saw those pieces like stars all around him, just falling all over. The, that was broken. He was falling down. He saw the sidewalk in the corner of his eyes. I remember I questioned him about that many times. I saw the sky was, above and the sidewalk yeah, below. Yeah, yeah. So this was just one encounter that we've had, and I wanted Doug to share that with you today. And I want to read to you something beautiful out of um, Psalms 91. And, um, you know, I just want to encourage you today with this, that in Psalms 91, the Lord goes on and he says, He who dwells. In the secret place of the Most High God, right? Amen. <laughs> we need to dwell with the Lord. We need to dwell in those secret places. Um, we shall remain secure and rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This is the um, the Amplified. And um, we will remain secure and rest in the shadow of the Almighty, whose power no enemy can withstand. The enemy would love to destroy Doug. He would, have, he would have been gone. I would have been left a widow. He would have, it would have crushed your skull, My caused goodness, damage to his yeah. spine, carrying that huge 200-pound <laughs> commode in his hand and trying to save, save it before it was you know, gone uh, in a million pieces and try to you know, save it for his, his employer and trying to be a good employee doing this job. But, you know, he would have been in a disastrous situation. Who knows what would have happened. But it goes on to say that, My God, whom I trust... With all confidence and on whom I rely, for he will save you from the trap of the fowler, which is the enemy, and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you and completely protect you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. Well, I think that day he really did gather you up under his wings and Amen. pushed you back up and into that platform, into the workplace, where you really um, were safe again. And it goes on, I'm going to read the rest of it. His faithfulness is a shield and a wall. So that was the wall of God pushing him back up. He would not allow Doug to be in that disastrous situation, just like he watches over you and keeps you in his care. And sometimes you don't even know that he's doing these things in your life. You don't even realize it until later. You, How many times later in our life have we looked back and said, oh my gosh, this was God, this was the Lord. 
I mean, I can't go into all the details. We'll share them at different times. But there was another time we had an accident with our car. Actually, we were about to have an accident with our car. But all of a sudden, everything was dispersed within seconds. There was an angel that did it. We won't, I won't go into it now, but we'll share we that again. Translated. Yeah, we were actually translated. But I'll share that another time. That is beautiful what God did that time with our hope, with our children. We're in a car and we experienced something very, very angelic and very beautiful what God did. And he saved our lives from a horrible collision. But anyway, I want to share the rest of this beautiful scripture. And you will not be afraid of the terror of night, nor the arrows that fly by day. And don't you know we're living in those hours now when things are happening so quickly. Everything is culminating right when the world is just groaning. And there's a culmination of time that we're coming into. My purpose is to draw you closer to him so that you can live a closer walk with him. Because in these end days, we're going to need to have a closer relationship so that when we pray, we see those answers coming. Immediately, we start seeing answers coming. Or when somebody tries to break in our home to try to get our supplies or to find the food or whatever, how long we're going to be here, we don't know how long we're going to be in, this, in, in the hour we're going to be here. But we might have to be here for a little while during some of the hard times. I know we're not going to go through these horrible times that the Bible is speaking about, especially in Revelation 6. That's when everything is starting to really come down. And we, we might have to walk through some of those things, but you know what? It will not be for us. It is not destined for us to walk in the tribulation. For God has already told us that he has not, not destined us for that. No, he hasn't. But you know what? I want to go on. I'm getting off a little bit, but I want to share with you the rest of the scripture. Okay. Nor the destruction of sudden death that lays waste at noon. In other words, there's always something horrible that the devil is trying to do to destroy God's children, especially in his latter hours. Mm -hmm. He is working triple time, quadruple time. He's working constantly. It's like the troops of an army. When there's a battle, we, our forces are sent out in full force. Well, you know what? The evil is doing the same thing. The evil ones are doing the same thing. They are sending all their forces out to destroy as many of us as he can. So before the end time comes that they can say they're finished and done. And maybe some are destined to be recipients of salvation. And he wants to destroy your life before you even come into the kingdom of God. If you're listening to this today, receive Jesus. Receive him. Don't waste time. Times are very, very close. Very close to Jesus. His precious coming and we are his bride and he is our bridegroom he's ready to take us home and and to his beautiful banquet the beautiful celebration on those streets of gold that day is coming very soon we don't know when it is but it's coming very very close anytime the prophetic words are all coming the pro prophecies in the bible are all being fulfilled and we look to israel because that's the apple of god's eye support israel Pray for Israel. Blessings over Israel because that's what God tells us to do. Okay, and it goes on to say in Psalms 90, when a thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but danger will not come near you. Right? Amen. Right, hon? Danger will not come near you. And um, you will only be spectators as you look on with your eyes. And you were a spectator yeah. that day. You looked at what's, what you saw on the sidewalk and all the, 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 the uh, glass shattered all over and all the disaster and uh, the, the commode. And, but you were, you were safe. Yeah. I mean, it happened in a flash, but yet it seemed like it took. And the evidence was all there that oh, it actually was yeah. not a dream. Yeah. I remember him telling me he thought it was a dream. He said, couldn't believe that that had transpired. They were picking glass out of my hair and all over. <laughs> so God is so good. Listen to this. But danger will not come near you, okay? Danger will not come near you. And you will only be a spectator as you look with your eyes and witness the divine. This is your divine appointment today. We are witnessing and you, you've heard Doug share the story of the divine intervention. Okay? This is beautiful. And um, so uh, the witness, the divine, and uh, repayment of the wicked as you watch safely from the shelter of the Most High. Now, Doug could sit up on that platform and look out that window and see where he fell through and he came back up. Amen. Because yeah. he felt those huge hands push him back up into that, that was window. That the amazing part, feeling a, a, a physical hand. 
I always imagined that you wouldn't feel the hands of an angel, but you actually felt, felt those huge the, hands the, push the huge you. Hands. Bigger, yes. bigger than that. Are you listening? This is so awesome. This is so beautiful. And because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near you. Listen to this now. This is so important. For he will command his angels in regard over you, okay, to protect and defend and guard you in all of your ways of obedience and service. And they will lift you up in their hands. Amen. That's what happened. Okay, that is what we wanted to share today. I just wanted you to meet my husband, um, my dear second half, my, my <laughs> better half, who is a hard-working guy and is just loves the Lord so much. But I wanted to share that with you, family of God. I just wanted you to be part of these things that have happened in my life, in Doug's life. And I'm going to have him come on and share some of the things that we've gone through together that we still are amazed today. Oh. Yeah, right? All the beautiful things God has done. And we're not worthy, but God loves us all so much that love him. And you know what? We're his family, and he's going to take care of his family. No matter what we have to go through these latter dark days, our lights are going to grow brighter and brighter as a noonday sun. And that day of darkness that could have been horrible, Doug was able to share with all his coworkers all the beautiful mm -hmm. things that God had done. Well, you know, I'm going to end my video. It's over, way over my time, but I had to share this with you all so that I could answer some of your questions and let you hear from Doug what he experienced. But God bless you today. I love you. Don't forget to, to uh, subscribe, thumbs me up, make your comments, share the beautiful things that God has done in your life. If you can capsulize it and share a little bit on your comments, it will bless so many others. That's what this program is all about, is divine appointments. And to draw you closer in these latter hours is really what I'm all about. I want to draw you closer to God so that when this, these times come and they're, they're coming, we're coming so close to these latter days that you will be able to know that you know that you know that when you pray, God is answering. God bless you today. I love you. This has been your divine appointment. We'll see you next time. Bye -bye. God bless.